Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and this is going to be a quick little troubleshooting video. Not so much troubleshooting, I've already done the troubleshooting, but just kind of we're going to go over the problem and, and what we're going to do to fix it. I'll probably start doing these every once in a while. I've got a smaller camera now that um, is not so much in the way, so I can just kind of really quick leave it set up, run over to the table, and just do a real quick video. So... Um, this was kind of a sad situation for me because this was a blind build that I did for my customer, Jason in Texas. It was his birthday. Of course he sent me the money, but said, I want you to build whatever you want. And so I built him a six S machine and flew it. Um, it flew wonderful. I think we even have flight footage on the site or on my YouTube page. I'm not sure if I did or not, but it flew great. Um, yeah, we did get some flight footage, but he got it on his day before his birthday, waited till his birthday to open it, opened it up and plugged it in and nothing, just the three beeps from, which is saying, okay, we've got signal going to ESC. We ESCs have power and then that's it. You should get the three beeps and then another, con another series of consecutive beeps. Did it, dun, dun. the last two tell you that this is also receiving a PWM signal from the flight controller. Didn't get that. So um, it's been a while. Uh, he got crazy busy. He's a farmer out there and they had some really bad weather. And so I just got it back and kind of went through the test. Um, so let's show you here what it's doing real quick. Like I said, you hear that? Nothing. Um, and when you plug it in, you see these series of lights. Let's see if you can see that. That's already gone into the, the, the steady light here. Okay. Well, what that's telling me is that there, there's an issue with the gyro. So um, reflashed it, did everything, was able to get it to connect, but the gyro is completely dead. When the gyro is dead, uh, more times than not, it is a faulty flight controller. Now... The flight controller that we have in here is the Matek F405. And I was really excited about this flight controller because it is laid out very, very well. The components on it are really nice. It takes up to 6S. I've talked to people that have had really good luck with it with 6S. So I thought, oh, I'm so excited. Well, the first one I got was DOA completely. Nothing. I couldn't get it to um, even plow power on with either battery or plugging it into the USB. And this is the second one. It seemed to go okay, um, but it, you know, the gyro is faulty. And I'm not the only one that's having this problem. I've seen quite a few people that are, uh, some people are having yaw twitches with the gyro, but then there's also a lot of people that are having the same issue. So, um, you know, at this point, I would say until Maytech figures out what's going on, I don't know if they've got a fix for it already. Um, I cannot suggest this board. I'm going to put something else in it, maybe the CL Racing F4, um, maybe even the Holy Bro Kakute. Um, and so, you know, I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in here, but I'm going to put something else because, you know, if something has a problem one time, well, that happens, you know, you get stuff. But when I had two consecutive issues right in a row, and then I look and there's quite a few people having the same issues, um, then we've got to look somewhere else. So I'm going to have to look for a, a all-in-one flight controller that can consecutively take 6S or, or, you know, without any problems. And he's going to probably run some 5S, but I think overall um, he's going to be running 6S on this. This, is, this machine was meant to just absolutely scream. And it did. Um, we only had 5S out here. Uh, we had one 6S that we tested it on and um, the batteries kind of puffed, but <laughs> even with the puffed 6S, it was, it was a machine, a beast. And so I got it out there and I was, I think I was more disappointed than Jason was and um, because I was so excited to get him this and get it in the air. Running these Acon HVs, which takes 6S with no problem. Um, you know, if you're going to run something on a success, just reach out to the community and find out what people are running. Cause there's a lot of stuff that says it'll run success, but I wouldn't trust it. I started off with, um, I was going to run a bolt 
four and one ESC on this and um, talked to some people and just didn't think that that would necessarily be um, the way to go for success. And I've come to the conclusion and I've said this in other videos, if it's a four and one ESC, don't go any more than five S it's just one piece of copper that all that 24 volts is running through on six S. And I think it's just too much for it. So anyways, that's why we put the ESCs on the arm. This is an Astro X stretched as you can see in the vid in the picture. Um, and so we're going to put another flight control. Like I said, I'm not sure which one I'm going to put in here yet. Uh, but we got to get it going for him. He's going to go on a little trip in November. And so we got to get him some stuff to have some fun with. Um, I wanted to just really quickly, we're going to go over this later. But this is a little preview. Um, and I'll do this from time to time in videos. I won't necessarily, it won't say anything about it. But if you watch videos, sometimes there'll be little sneak um, peeks. This is a new radio I got for Jason. And I also got one for myself. This is the new Q7S, and I absolutely love this radio. Comes with Hall gimbals, okay, so they're a much smoother gimbal. And then it also comes with these sticks, and I'm telling you, these sticks are so perfect. You know, they have the ones that are really wide. They were just too much for me. And so I've been running the really small ones, and I absolutely love these sticks. Another thing I love about this controller only one I arm on the left side. Some people arm on the right, so that might be an issue. But um, I arm here, and this is so nice because on the my X9D, they had another switch here, and I'd have to kind of stick my fingers in there so that if I get in trouble, I can disarm because um, I would some. It was just kind of hard to hit, and this is just so nice. So um, they did a couple other things, angled this so for people who pinch. Um, it's not as much of an issue for them. They were really having problems with the flat, the flat kind of, let me show you the difference here. This is the standard seven. You see the difference? One is flat. And can you see that? One is curved. And wh the people who are pinchers really had a problem with, with hitting these switches up here. And now, you know, it's not as, I mean, you can still, but it's not nearly as much of an issue. So, um, Love the radio. Look for look to a little review on this, um, but and it's really cool that they come with these nice gimbal protectors because um, a lot of us buy them. For matter of fact, this is going to Jason in Texas, same guy that's getting th that's this for, and he asked me to order him a set of gimbal protectors. Well, he doesn't need them now, so and it comes with a nice case. So guys. Appreciate you. We'll get back to you after I get this fixed and kind of give an idea of um, what exactly we did to fix it. In other words, we know what we're going to do, but um, what we're going to do is replace it with a new flight controller, but we'll talk about what flight controller we put in there. Okay, guys, thanks again. Hope you have a great day. Check out my website, xframesfpv.com, and you can see builds. I'm going to be updating the pictures right now. The pictures that are there are from the the guy that I had rebuild the site. So thanks again. Hope you have some time to fly.